What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Accu Audio Garage. Today I just want to talk to you quick about our complete kit. This is our complete radio installation kit. So that includes a dash kit for your Acura. So this is the most popular dash kit, the 95-7815B. It's for an Acura TL double din. And then we have the 95-7820B, which is for the MDX double din. So if you want to keep your steering wheel controls, you're always going to need the access piece. And basically what this is, is a actual access module. This is the most important part. And then you have some optional harnesses depending on what radio you're installed. So basically you have the factory radio in your car. You want to install an aftermarket radio, maybe like this Pioneer uh, W2600 NEX here. So you want to install that radio. You take the factory radio out. You're going to need a couple harnesses. In your Acura TL, the two plugs that you need are right here. So this 040506, so 2004 to 2006 Acura TL, this is the harness that would be used. This connector right here changes depending on what radio. So when you order your complete kit, it's gonna ask you what radio brand, and this will change depending on the radio brand and model. But this right here is for Pioneer. So here's our Pioneer plug and play harness. And then we have one for the MDX as well. So here's the MDX plug and play harness. We have all the connectors that plug in at the car, the connector for the AXWC, and then the connector into the Pioneer. You'll see here all of our harnesses, at least for the MDX and the TL, uh, use RCAs. Depending on the car, on the Acura you're selecting, um, your harness will look a little different, but this is step one of the complete kit is your plug and play harness. Of course you have, like I mentioned before, the accompanying dash kit and then the steering wheel control interface. This all may seem pretty straightforward and mundane, but basically these three components here are everything you need to change that factory radio to an aftermarket radio. There's no other wiring you'll need. There might be additional wires on your radio that need to get installed. For example, a microphone, USB port, etc. But to get your radio to power on all your factory speakers to work except the center channel, this is the harness right here. And it just simplifies your install. You don't have to wire anything. You don't have to figure out what wire does what. Everything's wired. All you're doing is plugging connections in to the car, to the back of the radio, and you're set to go. When you go to program your steering wheel controls, this is an auto programming module. So you'll either tap volume up or you'll hold volume up and your steering wheel control should start working right away. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because with the holidays coming up, this is something we're gonna be running a special on. So if you're looking to replace the radio in your Acura, you can look at our complete kit or our radio kits. Our radio kits are different in that they include everything you see here. So it'll be a radio plus the complete kit and the harness will be custom made for that radio. So if you're thinking about swapping the radio in your car, you've been waiting, now might be a great time. You'll get a good deal on the complete kit and then you can pick up whatever radio you want, Amazon, Walmart, etc., wherever you can find the best deal. So, uh, I hope this information was helpful, guys. Make sure you give the video a like. Make sure you subscribe. We always have more content, more products for your Acura. So it's just a matter of time before we develop something you're looking for.